from the lockdown started, uh, everybody's been baking. And the one thing that I found difficult to get was yeast, because everybody, I assume, was buying yeast. Obviously, flour and all the other ingredients were scarce as well. After about three weeks, I did get yeast, and now I have plenty of it. So I'm going to keep practicing and baking until I get something that I think looks perfect, or near as perfect as I think. So after using all the recipes from the most famous chefs like Paul Hollywood and Delia online, none of them give me the outcome that I wanted. So I found one on the internet called Bake It With Love. Now there seems to be lots of different um, sites that have similar names. So this is the one that you need to look for here. I did find a Facebook page, but it didn't look like this uh, lady's recipe. She seems to be called Angela. So this is her recipe for quick French bread. And I've made it a couple of times. And to me, it's the nearest that I can get that works out pretty well. It's simple to make, but as you've discovered, to use yeast and bread, it takes time. So it's time and proven. It's not your time actually making the bread. So you have to start and stop and start and stop. We've got plenty of time at the moment. I'm not sure that whenever I use all my yeast up, which I have about another 16 packets, that I will ever do this again because it is so time consuming. It ties you down. So to me, our own Irish soda bread makes is very versatile and it makes uh, a quick bread and just as nice. I'm not a fan of white bread anyway. So what I have done, I have used her recipe. She does give you a quite detailed uh, method how to do it, which is very good. And she also has a video. And my suggestion is to follow everything she tells you to the letter. So I've already taken it to the first step. So I have activated the yeast and the sugar with the warm water and I have it proven for an hour. So now I'm going to um, shape it. So I've had this proven for about an hour in a nice, somewhere just in a warm kitchen. And I'm going to tip it out just as she says of an extra half cup of flour, plenty of flour, and I'm going to use it all up and I'm going to mould it and form it into the shapes that I want. So that's a tipped out. So you can see it's quite a lot of, a lot of dough and I'm going to mould and knead, not for long. So I've worked with the dough for a, about a minute or so and I've divided it in, in half. So one half, I'm just this time, the first time I've done this, I'm going to make a cob or a, a yeast loaf and I've just shaped it out and I'm setting it on the baking tray. The next half I'm dividing that in two and I'm going to make two long rolls. So that's uh, the two French sticks I have ready. I have put a wee slit down the length of it and I've covered them with oiled cling film. And you oil it so that whenever it rises it doesn't stick. This one is the wee cob loaf. So again I've just put a slit on top of it. Now the two need to sit and rest for at least 30 minutes. So 30 minutes to an hour is the recommended to the double in size. So this is the two lots of bread ready to go into the oven, the two French loaves and the wee cob. And I have put a tray, although this lady doesn't say to do it, I put a tray in the bottom of the oven about 15 minutes ago and filled it with boiling water and it creates a steam. So it steams your bread. But in her recipe, she doesn't say to do that. So I found it actually quite good. So I'm in two minds what to do. So I set the oven at, a hun at 200 degrees centigrade. So it's quite a hot oven. And that's them in the oven for half an hour. And then I'll check them in half an hour. It should be ready. So that's it finished. That's the two French sticks and the cob loaf. And the French, the, I think these are the best ones that have come out so far. And I've been doing this for about 10 days. So that's what they look like, nice and crispy on the outside. 
and the cob loaf should be all right. And there's a nice smell in the kitchen from them. But it's a long, tedious process. So it's up to you if you want to try it or not.